Bark and live. Dark and bombo clad dead. Boy, I'm some yellow, I'm a star, see your wife, I'm a yard. Them things they mean a lie. Lucky she not stabbed with a knife. And some boy, I fuck some ways, can I roll? Half them a chase her around. How the fuck you a fuck some dude? Then I walk up with it in a crowd. Hey, no girl, me fuck you, I'm a jama. Me make me yell, be that man a gana. Baby, me she's no them policy. After nine o'clock, she can't call me. After me, no. So you guys will not believe, um, Make sure I'm in focus. You guys will not believe what just happened to me. So, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, I'm currently at work. It's like nine o'clock p.m. So let me tell you guys what happened. So, y'all. So basically, I forgot my camera at work. Um, I had gave it to one of the soldiers. I asked her if she could. Um, sorry. So I had gave it to one of the soldiers. I asked if she could um place it inside for me. Totally forgot that I gave it to her. So I ended up having to come here. It's like 9 p.m. and it still looks light outside in Germany. It's about 9 p.m. and I had to come back to work to grab you guys because I already started making crab for a crab boil. So I had to go to Washington's house, grab the key, grab the key, um, and then come here, grab the camera. Then I have to, I'm gonna keep the key over the weekend because we got a four day this week. And I'm not going through all that of bringing back the keys, but I'm happy that I found you guys. For a second, I thought I lost y'all and I was about to scream because my camera itself costs a thousand dollars. It comes with a lens kit. And then this lens that I purchased, the um one, let's so show you guys, you guys see how it's zoom in and it zooms all the way out. It's really big. Um, I wanted this lens for so long, you guys. And then I finally invested and bought it. Invested in it. 600 and something dollars. And that was me buying this lens used. A new, new, this lens new, I can't talk. This lens new was about $800. So, you know what I'm saying? I had to, I invested in this camera so much money and I almost thought I lost it for a second. So, I almost freaked out. But yeah, so right now I have a mukbang cooking um, it's crab. I don't. Really, I didn't really like the shrimp last time. I don't know what was wrong. I just it, something was off. So, oh, car tour. Cartel, what you knew about me? Cartel, what you knew about me? Cartel, what you knew about me? What you know about me? Me say bend down low, let me tell you what me know, let me tell you what me know when you bend down low. It was like I was saying, um, I thought I lost y'all for a minute, but I didn't. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So I'm leaving the keys in here. I'm going to go to the car wash this weekend because, child, you guys need to be laughing. You guys need to be lave for real. You know, based on lave. Also, I caught this Haitian flag. Drapo. That's how you. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm chewing. So I'm so sorry. Ew, my hands smell like that. Uh, the crab. I ain't even washing my hands, y'all. I, I came to the car to get um the camera. Realized the camera wasn't there. Was going crazy, calling the soldier, looking for the soldier. I found the soldier outside, and then. She was like, girl, I left it on the microwave. And I was like, oh, my God. So then I had to call Washington. It was just a lot just to get you guys. But um, I'm about to head back to the crib now. You guys are not securely mounted, so you already know. That's why I don't do car vlogs. Because if I, as soon as I start driving, I will drop you. You guys will fall. And then um, that's almost $2,000 down the drain. And I'm not rich. So, yeah. So back to the music. My love is skin out when you fuck me. My lover do the video them with you, baby. Come wind up, come. Baby, come wind up, come show us they love me. You don't know what a blood clot pussy fat. Mm -mm. Look, a girl, don't give me that. Mm -mm. Your boom boom clean already, so my dash with up. I'm coming at your belly. Mm -mm. You know, your body cock it up. Your boom boom clean already, so my dash with the boots. I'm coming at your belly. All right, so you you guys know that I tell you guys about the majority of my friends. Um, I was a little afraid to introduce introduce you guys to Franklin because 
I know that every time I introduce you to every time I introduce a guy to you guys, you guys automatically think it's like sex related or like are you dating him or whatever or do you like him? And that is why I was afraid to introduce you guys to Franklin because I knew you guys were gonna take it and run with it. And as you know, Franklin came out and said that he was um homosexual. Meaning that Franklin likes men. So I would appreciate if you know I if I if and when I introduce you guys to um men that you guys can understand that sometimes like majority of the time i have male friends washington etc so i'm gonna introduce you guys to someone today his name is q and he's a friend of mine and please guys please do not insinuate that i'm messing with this man any relations nothing like that like please y'all like every time that i have a friend does not mean i'm sleeping with them or does not mean that they like me they want to be my boyfriend or they like please guys please anyway so today i'll be doing a mukbang with him you guys will probably see that mukbang but before you guys see this vlog comment down below and let me know what y'all think about him i need to go wash my hands it's more like crap what in the ghetto wow so um, I don't know if I told you guys, but it's a four day. I'm not sure if I told y'all. It's a four day and it's a four day for Memorial Day, which is pretty sad. I don't really like to think about Memorial Day because um, it's just sad. Like it's just, it's sad. All the people that's died for this country, it's just sad. And I think that a lot of people don't either appreciate it or, rem or remember it or like, sit there and think like you a lot of people died like a lot of people died for the united states but anywho's that's neither here or there um a lot of people will be grilling today a lot of people are grilling today um i'm just going to do my makeup just in case i do decide to go out if y'all don't know i don't go outside no more like uh go run my errands handle my business that's it but i don't sit outside no more i used to be I don't I used to sit outside like I don't do that no more. That's corny to me now So I just feel like it's so much stuff. I could do with my time and now I'm it's like now. I'm very very busy now um, So I'm not finna sit outside and waste my time and I'm no I can drink in my room. I'm not sitting outside um, so I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna have to speed through some parts because uh, <sighs> This vlog would be long as shit if I did stay through so I already know you guys are gonna ask where um what lashes am I wearing? I am wearing these lashes right here. It is by Minx by Deja. This is her let me put the brightness up. Oh, that is all the way bright. Oh well it is um this is her social media, Minked by Deja. Her YouTube is called Me Deja, please. And these lashes are beautiful. I was gonna show it to you guys before I um I was gonna show it to you guys before I took it off the thing, but it was too late already. So that's the lashes I'm gonna put on today. It's her lashes. She sent me these lashes for free. I did say that um if you guys send me whatever you guys want to send me, I will you know promote it in the vlog. Um, cause I know a lot of people, it's, it's quarantine time, like, a lot of people don't got money out here to be paying for promos. So, I just think, you guys send me whatever y'all want, I will post it, and I'm gonna support everyone that I can. The, um, the best way, you guys, to, is to support, what the fuck? Alright, y'all, so, right now, I am, um, put this down. Shit. Mm, this is perfect actually. All right, so I started filming my um, vision board video that I was telling you guys about earlier in this vlog. So you guys are gonna start to see like behind the scenes more and more um, of you know things that I do. I'm trying to introduce it more and more the more that I start to get back into the groove of vlogging. So I got these. Um, well, I got this magazine for free. I'm not gonna get into too much detail because. I need y'all to watch that vision board video because I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of getting out of my comfort zone and you know, 
I would appreciate the support. So, yeah. So, I bought these other two magazines. And basically, what you do when you have a vision board is you cut out things that will technically motivate you. Or, like, let me see if I can zoom out because, yeah. Things that will, like, essentially motivate you or whatever. So, we're going to start off in this. Oh, my fingers. In this magazine. In this magazine, it's called Strong. And I want to get stronger, y'all. If y'all don't know, the army has a new PT test. And bitch. We took the PT. We took the new one. And the only I failed. Um, I failed the leg tuck. So everything else I passed but the leg tuck. So to do a leg tuck, essentially you I guess you have to have core strength or you have to be really strong. I don't know. I do know people bigger than me that can do leg tucks which is why i'm like so confused why the fuck i can't do a leg tuck but um i can do the part where you lift your leg up to your body i can't do the part where you do that i can't do that um i don't know if it's my fake breast i don't know if it's because it's under the um muscle or what but i'm i am trash at that so i know eventually i will get it so oh this is good so this the first page says I will face hardships. No, I will face challenges, hardships, things that will test my will. I will not be discouraged. I will give my all. I will never quit because I'm strong. Ooh, I need that on my litty board. Where am I gonna put that? I'm gonna put it at Law of Attraction. So I'm not gonna get too much details because I really do want you guys to um watch my stuff. So watch my videos. I can't wait to get back to the States because I'm gonna be like collabing with people so i wanted to tell y'all about something so i feel like i have social anxiety and growing up i used to be like a real social person y'all like i used to be oh my god is that can y'all see my wig in the bathroom bitch so i used to be um a real social person never had problems in like in, not speaking to the public but in the public and now i have so i know for a fact i have social anxiety because even right now, for example, it's Memorial Day weekend and I should be outside with everyone else, like, you know, enjoying the weekend. And I'm just like in here, like trying to make content, think of content. Like I'm not, I'm not too pressed about outside. Like, and the thing is before the coronavirus even happened, started happening or before it emerged or whatever, I became a homebody. And if I would have knew, if I would have had a hint that this was going to happen, I wouldn't have been such a homebody. So now a lot of people are like um, quarantined and miserable, but I'm, I'm like double quarantined because I've been quarantined. Like, you know what I mean? I, yeah. So, yeah. So that's that. I am ready to go outside. The first place I'm going to go when we do get to, um, push past our limits i guess a person the first place i want to go <gasps> excuse me is um stuttgart i want to go to stuttgart um what's in stuttgart so they got this jamaican restaurant in stuttgart i want to go to so bad i had one already but dang i want already but yeah i want to go again if y'all don't know, I do have um, a book with YouTube ideas. You guys see that I've been posting more. It's because, bitch, I started writing down my ideas. I'm being more organized. Like, that should be part of me. But I got some post-its. And I'm going to put some post-its for the days of the week. Because if I didn't, if I didn't tell y'all, I, I enrolled in a new class. And I kind of got tricked. Because I thought the class was four weeks. That's why I took the class. But it's really eight weeks. So... Apparently, I had the wrong Go Army Ed number, so I signed up for the wrong the wrong class. Really, I thought it was four weeks, but now it's, it's really eight weeks. I already started, so I'm like, I'm going to continue. It's just a music class, so I guess I'm just going to do that. Um, Yeah, and the professor wants the assignments on a certain day. She wants replies to discussions on a certain day, and we have to Zoom. We have to um, FaceTime for the class, I guess. So I got some posted so I can remember... So I can remember what the fuck I can remember what the fuck I gotta do, and I was a little worried because I was like, "Yo, the the vision board, we call it the Liddy board, because the Liddy I was worried the Liddy board would fit right here, and if it's perfectly, period, poof. 
So when my degree comes, I'm gonna put it right here. When my 100, 100K plaque come, I probably won't be here in Germany, but whatever. I just, I want over here to look, give me office vibes. So I'm gonna cut out this part that says new you. And I wanna tell you guys, it doesn't always have to be a new year for you to change. There's nothing wrong with changing. I know a lot of times when like either you get a new job or you should you glow up in life people be like oh you change you change it's nothing wrong with change okay change is good is it's never too late to change your bad habits that you want to change regardless if that's drinking shit sex whatever it is you can change it don't ever be afraid because time is flying um yeah so i don't want to keep like talking and like boring you guys to death but like i have nothing else to do my life i'm fast so you guys are gonna have to feel the wrath with me so i got the instagram that's kind of perfect oh hell no it wasn't but yeah so i'm gonna continue this i really don't want to like keep bothering you guys i feel like i'm bothering y'all bitch but i ain't got nothing to do like the fuck one thing i'm going to tell y'all is i love my hair like this okay am i even focused I love my hair like this. Like, whoa. So, I want to tell you guys. So, there's a girl that I follow on Instagram. Her name is Curlsmatic. I love her hair. So, every time that she posts something, I like repost it. Like, I wish I had her hair. I wish I had her hair. So, she, I don't know. One day, she just texted me. I mean, DM me. I'm sorry. She DM me and asked me for my address. And I was like, cool. Basically, she, she gets so much PR from curly hair companies that she wanted to send me some. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, thank you. That's so nice of you. You don't know me from anywhere. That's just very nice of you, you know? She sent me some shit called Uncle Funky's Daughter. And I'm like, like, okay. Like, I never heard of this. But, think, like, I appreciate the products. I have a lot of products. But I never knew when exactly I was going to get down to using un Uncle Funky's Daughter. And, bitch. Bitch. Let me tell you something. It, right now, it's between the main choice and Uncle Funky's Daughter that is saving my life. So, let me tell y'all. Out of all the products, curly hair products that I own, out of all of them, all every single one of them, this product has changed my life. It's called the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. So I washed my hair, right? I keep hearing banging. What the fuck? And then I put my hair in a ponytail. And then, let me see if I can keep continue to zoom out. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so I washed my hair, put it in a ponytail. And then, I lied. I washed my hair. I put this throughout my hair. I took section, finger comb it, put this in it. And I put it in a ponytail. I brushed up my um, right hair. Did baby hairs. But then when it dried, it dried into like this like. Bitch, look at this. Like, oh my God. You guys can't see it. Like, it, it's so nice. Like, I have to show it to y'all. Let me see. Can y'all see it? Oh, I can't see if y'all can see it. It, it like dry. It you guys see i don't know if you guys can see well but yeah i'm very happy about this i will i'm not buying no other product but that for my curly hair because this is perfect oh my god like i went and followed them on instagram that's right, how so i'm done i just filmed my vision board video if you guys are interested in seeing how i made this vision board then don't be afraid to click the link in my bio bitch is hot and Q said he made some burgers. And I'm like, damn, dude, where the burgers at? It is about five something. Ooh, ooh, bitch. Ooh. Oh, he's calling back. Hello? Um, My mom video called me just now while I was filming. And she, um, I don't know. She just wanted to see my room. So I gave her a room tour. And she was like, girl, your room is dirty. I'm like, ma, I know. I'm filming. You know, it takes a lot of mess to be this great. So yeah, it's a lot of people down there barbecuing and stuff. But me, I'm a loner. I just sit in the room. I don't give a fuck to go outside. Y'all yeah, noticed already. But um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end this vlog right now. Um, I love you guys, and I will see y'all in my next vlog. I do have to go to the car wash tomorrow, get and get an oil change. So I will bring you guys with me tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a different vlog. But I love you guys, and I will see y'all in my next vlog.